up everyone it is your girl gel beauty 87 here aka grace and today it's time for another my side chick makeup edition so i found a few new palettes i mean a few palettes for this video so i figured i would just bust them all out at one time and we could just get to the business girl because there's so many to choose from i got dupes of all of the Viseart um new collection palettes from ColourPop palettes i got um dupes of a Viseart palette from what is it um bh cosmetics i that was limited edition so i got a whole bunch of dupes for a whole bunch of stuff so i guess without further ado let's get to it so i'm going to start off with the stuff sitting to my um what is this my left and I'll start with the video when I just talked about. So, Magic Side Chick. This is the Ch Choo Choo Palette. I believe that's what this is called. Yeah, the Choo Choo Palette from um, Viseart. Now, when I first looked at it, I was like, it's a cute little palette. You know, I had wanted it for a while. I finally found it from somebody on Mercari who never used theirs and sold it. But when I thought about it, I was like, it just reminds me of the Mimosa Palette uh, from... Um, BH Cosmetics, it's just like a giant version of the Mimosa palette. I'm trying to hold it where, you know, the reflective foolishness isn't too bad. There we go. But yeah, so see what I'm saying? Like, the color story is really similar to these. But of course, if I had to pick one, I would pick the Viseart formula because the formula is going to be better. But it's like, if you just wanted a similar color story, get the Mimosa palette from TJ Maxx because everybody's found a BH Cosmetics at TJ Maxx. But in my main six side chick, we already know what goes. <laughs> Viseart 1 is the main chick. But this is a good side chick palette if you just want similar colors and don't want to spend Viseart prices. Especially since you can't get the Viseart 1 anymore anyway. Y'all know how people be on Macari marking up stuff like they crazy. Um, next, I have another main chick side chick. I actually just filmed this video today. This is the House of L palette from Adept Cosmetics. Up against the Terra Moons Cosmetics El Barrio palette. I feel like both these palettes have really similar color stories. I actually feel like they'll be good companion palettes because that's how I plan on using them. But this is what both of them look like side by side. Again, with the reflectiveness, I'm trying to... Okay, there we go. So, here's what both of them look like. As you can see, they have somewhat similar color stories. You got your oranges, you got your reds. They have greens, they just don't have blues. And it's more like a greenish blue. So, I guess you can count it as both. I don't know. But anyway, this is what both of them look like. If I had to pick one, this one was a hard decision for me. Because I'm like, I really like the fact that Terra Moons has more mattes than the Adept. But I love Adept's shimmer formula a lot. And then those wet metallic looking shades that are in this palette. That are a new formula that aren't in the lat uh, um, other ones. Or it's like the older formula that she brought back just for the particular collection. I'm not exactly sure. So... I have to pick the House of L as my main chick and my Terra Moons as my side chick just because I am addicted to the shimmers that come from a dip cosmetics and I feel like they're wonderful and because I have so many huge palettes with mattes in them like the exactly the Blend Bunnies Blends palette I could put with this palette that's why I'm like it's going to be the main chick for me and this could be the side chick but both of them are wonderful palettes and I would recommend both of them easily without batting an eye. Now, one you have not seen in my collection. You saw me do an eye look on Instagram, but I didn't tell you what palette it was. Because I'm trying to figure out if I even want to, like, really talk about it or not. But I figured I could put in this main chick, side chick, just in case you were curious about it. So, we have the Evil Mermaid versus the High Tides from ColourPop. So, let's open them both up. I feel like they have somewhat similar color stories. I feel like the, um... Evil Mermaid is just like a little bit deeper than this palette, but um, with this one, um, I'm going to have to say the ColourPop is my main chick and this is my side chick. I found that I didn't like the shimmers from this brand. I know Ashley was talking about they're really flaky. That Ashley is Dr. Ashley in her makeup. She talked about how flaky they were in that Bloom palette that her and Karen did reviews on. And I saw this one. I was like, it's an easier price point for me to swallow than like 50 bucks and not liking the shimmers and all that. Because I usually have a lot of the same preferences that Dr. Ashley in her makeup has when it comes to eyeshadows. So when she said she didn't like the shimmers, I was like, $50 and then the shimmers ain't popping? Like, I don't know. So I got the $25 one to try it out. I do like the mattes in here, but I agree with her about the shimmers. I wasn't necessarily feeling them, which is why this would be the side chick. But the color store on this, I do like better than the high tide one. But because of the formula of the shimmers, and I want my shimmer and matte ratio to be even, and in the ColourPop one it is, as far as like performance-wise as well, I would say this is the side chick and this is the main chick. But you all can let me know if you want to see a look with it where I actually talk about the palette more in depth. But that's just my personal opinion. Going off the top. Now let's get into these busy ones before I forget they here and just end the video with the stuff that's on this side. So I have the new busy art palettes. And the funny thing is like the new busy art palettes and the old busy art palettes can be duped by these ColourPop 5 pan trios. I did that on my Instagram stories. If you all don't follow Jeff 87 there, it's saved there. So just in case you want to be able to go back and reference it, you can. But I remember I did change around my um 
lapis one, so it's not gonna look the way it's supposed to. But um, I'm gonna show the one that looks exactly like the um, you call it the color pop one, and it's the new one that they just came out with. I just put the Oh, it's called Pastel Pastelli. This is what it's called. But like, see, like this color pop one is almost exactly the same. The blue in here is a little bit lighter than this in blue, but I feel like you could pull in the, what is this palette called? The um, Rumor Has It one, and that'll be 20 bucks, and it's still cheaper than this one. You get more shades, but please keep in mind the ColourPop one's a limited edition, so if you do want to do that, girl, you hurry up and do it. Um, it's hard to hold these because both, okay, let's hold them like this, because I was going to say, otherwise, this ain't going to be working, so. See what I'm saying? Like, you can get the lighter blue that's in here from the um, Rumor Has It palette, and then this is Social Butterfly that has all the more neutral shades in it, so you can still have both palettes and it still be cheaper than this $25 palette because both of these is only going to be 20 bucks. so you spent 25 for four shades when you can get 10 for 20 bucks. so. And when it comes to the formula, um, I actually like the ColourPop ones better than I like these little sets. I think it's because I feel like they're a little too soft when it comes to the pigmentation, but I mean like... Sometimes Viseart doesn't have as pigmented shadows as, you know, like other brands do. So, that being said, I feel like it's just not pigmented enough for my preference in my skin tone. So, if I had to pick, I would actually pick the ColourPop ones. So, the ColourPop ones are going to be the main chick. And then the Viseart ones are going to be side chicks. Just because I feel like it wasn't giving the pigmentation I was hoping for with it. And, you know, for that price point, you need to be given. Because I just showed y'all that you can get the Viseart ones. and I mean, you can get the ColourPop ones. And, you know, it won't be any issues compared to what's going down with that. So, I'm trying to get my stuff out of the box. I probably should have took out the box a little bit of time, but you know, don't you judge me. This is, we're not going to judge me here. Thank you so much. So, I actually have dupes for both of the, the palettes. So, I have a dupe for, what is this one called? The pistache one, and then for the um, peridot. So, I'll start with the one for the peridot, which is the older one. Um, main chick, side chick for here. Now, it's not exact, of course, because this has, like, a little bit of brighter greens, and this has, like little deeper greens that come to shimmers but again like I feel like it's close enough to where you can make similar looks with it to where you don't need both and if I had to pick um in this case I would pick the Viseart one just because I like the matte to shimmer ratio in here well not necessarily I like I mean this is a good blending over shade but I would pick the Viseart palette over this one just because I don't know what it is about this one, but I just prefer the Viseart to it. So I picked the Viseart as the main chick, and this color pop one is a side chick. Now, I can't say that I will do that when it comes to the next set, but I will show you that set, and then we can talk about it. So the next one is the Pistache, and then we have the High Society palette. So the color pop High Society palette versus the Pistache. I would pick the High Society palette over the Pistache palette just because, again, like that one sh green shade didn't do it for me when I used the palette. And this has a variety of greens. Now, it doesn't have any of the um, neutral shades to go along with this. But, again, you could put the Flyaway palette with this again. And then that would be a whole other situation. So, matter of fact, let me put the Flyaway palette side by side with this as well so you can get an idea of it. Either way, I'm picking the ColourPop one over this one just because I felt like this one didn't do it for me. But, yeah. So, here's Flyaway up against this one i just feel like the color pop ones do it better for me than this one does the only one i like that this collection if you all remember from watching my video was the um what was it um it was the purple one and you gotta think i got the violet palette so the purple one wouldn't even be necessary to me i meant to bring that as like a main chick side chick to show too but i forgot so you'll see that in the future main chick side chick the um violet palette along slash this pistache palette but yeah the pistache is gonna be side chick and the color pop um, five pants are going to be the main chick. The last one I have to talk about is the Cashmere Forever up against the Lavender palette. So, this is the... How did that purple stain get on there? Okay, whatever. This is the Lavender up against the um, ColourPop Cashmere Forever. So, this is what Cashmere Forever looks like up against that. And if I had to pick, I would pick the Viseart over this one. Just because it gives a cute little pastel moment. I feel like this is all the type of purples I need in a quick rush on the go. Not to give me not to be wrong, this one is nice, but I think I don't like the fact that it has these couple this like fuchsia-ish shade in here. I'd prefer to just literally be all purple. And since this is all purple, and if I took the fuchsia shade out of here, they would look pretty much the same. I'd rather just go with the little Viseart one because the quality on this one is the best out of all the ones I tried. Out of all the three, I just showed you from the new collection that came out this um, spring or summer, whichever collection they're calling it. I think it's their spring collection, but yeah. So, 
Just for a recap, the ColourPop ones that I picked were against the blue and the um, green. So I picked the ColourPop palettes over the blue and the green. And then I picked the Viseart palette when it came to the purple because that was the best when it came out. Okay. Next one, we have Mage Chick Chai Chick is the Midnight palette from um, Beauty Bay up against my Night Flower palette from Lethal. Now, I felt like these actually looked pretty similar in tone, so I was like, let me go ahead and show them. Now, they're not exact, of course, but they are similar enough, in my personal opinion, to where I could do this video. And you can see what I'm talking about. Now, it doesn't have the black in here. It has, like, a, this pinkish shade instead. But I feel like if it took the pinkish shade out and put a black in it, they would look just about the same. It just doesn't have a whole bunch of blue mattes. It has more purples. But if I had to pick, of course, I'm picking my Night Flower. This palette is stunning, absolutely amazing. And the formula on Viseart's... I mean, the formula on Lethal Cosmetics palettes cannot be beat. So I would easily pick the Night Flower with my main chick. And then um, this Midnight palette with my side chick. Because I like Age of Opulence and the other one a little better. And that's like the third blue purplish palette they come out with. Now I have a um, like a three-way-ish type. Well, I have a, a couple of palettes that I'm going to compare to the same palette. So I'm going to start off with my Ice Cream Dream palette up against my Sugar Heel palette from... Um, Menagerie, this is their newest release, and if you can see, there's a lot of shades in here that are similar to the shades in here. So if I had to pick, I of course go with my Menagerie Sugar High palette up against my Ice Cream Dream. You all know I'm not really a fan of the Ice Cream Dream palette, so I feel like it's no surprise that I picked the Sugar Hill to win up against it. Okay, y'all, we got one more palette to do. So let's get into it. The palette, I last palette I chose to put against this was the Ice Cream Dream palette was the Michaela palette because I feel like they actually have a lot of similarities. When it comes to the color story, because they have a lot of neutrals and then they have like a lot of the similar um, tones. Now hers aren't as pastel as the um, ice cream cream, but I feel like when you look at them, you see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they have a lot of similar colors to them. Maybe it's just me, but see, she has a lot of neutrals. There are neutrals in this one. She has the pinks, the blues, the greens, the yellows. They have the pinks, blues, the greens, and the yellows. So I feel like they're pretty similar. Now, with this one, I'm going to leave it up to y'all. Cause, um, But if I have to pick, I guess I'll pick Ice Cream Dream. Because I wasn't really a fan of the Michaela palette. Like, I would use the Ice Cream Dream over the Michaela palette. And I tried it a couple of times to see how I felt. Like, I tried this one a couple of times. And I still like this one better than I like this one. So, the Ice Cream Dream is my main chick. And the Michaela one is my side chick. But I'm not really a huge fan of either one. I need to put that away for the five brands that do themselves. Um video because I feel like since they're so similar you're going to see this again in that video and I already got a color pop quad that looks like another color pop quad to deal with but yeah those are um, all my main chick side chicks for this episode oddly enough I have a palette from the last main chick side chick that I compared to another palette on my eyes so can you guess which palette it is just looking at my eyes let me know down below and let me know which eye you like better because I don't know I feel like they look so similar it's hard to tell but anyway those are my thoughts those are my um main chick side chick dupes of this go round i will try to have some more coming soon along with some other new content coming so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye